If you've ever searched for trading strategies on YouTube, you've probably seen bold claims of insane profits, thousands of percent in gains. But do they actually work? How can we be sure before risking real money? In this video, I'll show you how to simulate any strategies using indicators in demo mode with virtual money while testing them under real market conditions, also known as forward testing and get detailed reports to see if they're truly profitable before applying them in live trading. You can use any indicator or combination of them, such as RSI, MACD, Keltner channels, or strategies based on smart money concepts like break of structure, or anything else you have in mind. Using CryptoTailor, we can easily create strategies, set take profit and stop loss levels, and let them run 24 seven in demo mode to see how they perform. Over time, this will generate a complete report showing the total number of trades, average position duration, win rate, and profit and loss. And if we're happy with the results, we can make the strategy run using real money. We'll get to that later. For now, let's go to the Strategies section from the left menu and create a new strategy. The first step is to set a title. It's best to choose a name that reflects the strategy itself. Since in this example, I want to create a strategy using RSI, MACD, and Bollinger Bands, I'll name it accordingly. After that, I need to define my strategy's buy conditions, so I choose RSI, MACD, and Bollinger Bands from this section. For each indicator, we can set our desired time frame. In this example, I use the same 4-hour time frame for all of them, but you can create more advanced strategies by combining different time frames. For example, you can check the momentum using RSI on a lower time frame while confirming the trend direction with Bollinger Bands on a higher time frame. For this strategy, we want to open a position when RSI is above 30, the MACD histogram is positive, and the price crosses above the lower Bollinger Band. We chose these conditions because they combine momentum, trend confirmation, and volatility-based signals. RSI above 30 suggests that the asset is recovering from oversold conditions, meaning sellers are losing strength and buyers may be stepping in. A positive MACD histogram indicates that bullish momentum is increasing, reducing the chances of entering a trade too early. The Bollinger Bands condition ensures that the price is bouncing from a lower volatility level, which often leads to a potential upward move. Together, these signals create a strategy that looks for a shift in momentum with confirmation, improving the chances of catching a strong price movement. Then it's time to define our strategy's sell conditions. We can use any combination of indicators or strategies here as well. For this example, I will use RSI crossing below 70 as the sell condition. This means we exit the trade when RSI reaches the overbought zone and starts to decline signaling that bullish momentum may be weakening and a potential reversal or pullback could occur. This simple condition helps lock in profits before the price reverses. Next, we move on to the risk management settings for the strategy. For the stop loss, we can choose between a fixed stop loss or a trailing stop loss. A fixed stop loss means we set a price where the trade will automatically close if the market moves against us. No matter what happens, the stop loss stays in the same place. A trailing stop loss moves with the price. If the price goes up, the stop loss follows, keeping some of the profit safe. But if the price starts dropping, the stop loss stays where it is and closes the trade when the price reaches it. For this example, I choose a fixed stop loss and take profit of 5%. But depending on your strategy and the timeframes used in the indicators, you must adjust these values to fit your trading style. A shorter time frame may require a smaller stop loss and take profit since price moves faster, while a longer time frame may need a wider stop loss to avoid getting stopped out too early. It's important to test different settings to find what works best for your strategy. And by clicking on Save, our strategy is created. Next, selecting Convert the Strategy to Smart Trade Bot allows us to automate our strategy in three simple steps. First, we need to choose our exchange and trading pair. For this example, I choose Binance and Bitcoin. Selecting the exchange is important because the trades will be simulated using real market conditions specific to that exchange. Different exchanges may have slight variations in liquidity, spreads, and execution speed. 
So testing on the same exchange where you plan to trade live ensures more accurate results. In the next step, we must choose how much capital to allocate per trade. There are two options, static amount and dynamic amount. By selecting static, the bot will use a fixed amount for all trades, such as 100 USDT per position. By selecting dynamic, the bot will use a percentage of our spot wallet balance on the exchange. This option is only available for live trading, allowing the position size to adjust based on the available balance. In demo mode, all trades will always use a fixed 100 USDT per position, regardless of the selected option. And finally, in the last step, we finalize our bot setup. First, we define a bot title. Here, we can choose to run the bot in demo mode to simulate trades or in live mode to connect to our exchange and execute real trades based on our strategy. We also need to set the bot status upon creation. I select active, so the bot starts working in the background as soon as it is created. Additionally, we can choose how the bot should auto reactivate after a trade. By default, when the bot opens a new position, it automatically disables itself to prevent duplicate trades on the same trading pair. We can set it to reactivate only if the last position was a winning trade, or we can allow it to restart regardless of the outcome. For this scenario, where we are testing the strategy in demo mode, I set it to reactivate whether the last position was won or lost, ensuring that we can properly test how the strategy performs over time. We can also enable Telegram notifications, allowing the bot to send real-time reports about its positions. This includes alerts when a new position is opened, as well as updates on wins and losses. To use this feature, make sure your account is connected to Telegram before activating the option. And by clicking on Save, our bot is ready and running in the background 24-7, simulating trades based on our defined strategy. It continuously monitors the market, and when all buy strategy conditions are met, it automatically opens a new position. You can track these trades in the Open Positions menu. After opening a position, the bot keeps monitoring it for sell conditions while also managing risk through stop loss and take profit, ensuring the trade follows our strategy from entry to exit. After a while, we can check the Closed Positions menu to see detailed reports of our strategy, including the total number of trades, wins, losses, and overall profit. Additionally, from the Reports section and Daily PL menu, we can track how our strategy has performed over time, giving us insights into its effectiveness and helping us refine it if needed. We can run multiple strategies with different setups, including various buy and sell conditions, stop loss, and take profit levels. Over time, this helps us understand how each strategy performs under different market conditions. Now that we've seen how to simulate trades in demo mode using virtual money, let's move on to automating trades with real money by connecting the bot to our exchange once we're satisfied with the results. From the Exchanges menu, you can select your exchange and connect your bot, allowing it to trade on your behalf. To do this, you'll need to use API keys, which are the safest method offered by all reputable exchanges to let a program connect to your account while keeping your funds secure. API keys can be created with limited permissions, meaning you can allow the bot to buy and sell while disabling withdrawal access. This way, the bot can open and close positions but cannot withdraw funds, ensuring that your account remains safe while automating your trades. There is a step-by-step -step guide for each exchange that explains how to create an API key and connect the bot to your exchange. And that's it. If you have any questions or need support, you can submit a support ticket and our team will assist you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.